everyone and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! I am Zookeeper Siri and we are back here in my yard here at Zoo Dustia Zoo getting ready for a really interesting day. Because today, my friends, we have a mysterious birthday present that I have been told is waiting for me in my basement down with pigment fern. And I was told by Ben, which, you know, anvil dropped on my head, Ben. Ben, who likes to, like, have a, a secret chocobo farm where he, like, ranches up the chocobo and eats their meat. Ben, Ben of the dubious things Ben, who is our wonderful friend, but also likes to play on the darker side of things. He has told me that I need to wear my armor when I go and check on my gift that he has left down in the basement. So I'm a little nervous about what we may find down there, but I'm very eager to go see what it is. And also, there's some mail! So there's been some mail left for us as well, and I think this is probably from him too. And look at all of our little Easter decorations. They are so cute. We probably should take them down pretty soon, but I'm not sure what should go up as the next decoration. So if you guys have ideas, I'll let me know, because if it's a really cute decoration idea, and why is that... That Squicket is escaping! <laughs> oh no, he wants to go and hang out with the giraffes, which are just amazing. But if you guys have ideas for the next kind of decoration or holiday that we could potentially celebrate, then let me know. I might even look up some of those like animal holidays that people have during the world. Like sometimes there'll be like a bear holiday or like no International Whale Day or International um, like Guinea Pig Day and things like that. We could even, we could see about making some uh, zoo specific decorations and sharing them with all of our friends, which would be pretty cool. Also, thank you guys so so much for voting the animal the exhibit that has won the vote so we will be building it next probably starting tomorrow as soon as i am feeling a little bit better because we have so much loot to sort through today anyway as well as the mystery birthday present waiting for me down in the basement but the exhibit that we are going to be working on next is going to be the giraffe exhibit yay so my three little giraffes definitely thank you and once we get those guys moved over into the new safari zone that we will be building then we will be able to also breed them which will be so cool because we'll have more baby drafts, which is going to be really, really awesome. So I'm really looking forward to that too. But all right, so let's check on what's hiding in here for us. And this is a giant sword. Oh my gosh. Can I actually like hold this? <gasps> you guys! You guys, look at me! Grr! Oh my goodness, look at me. I'm so big and tough. Oh my goodness, look at me. This is the best. <laughs> Okay, it appears somebody has been fighting giants. This is kind of absolutely awesome. What happens? Can I like, can I actually like, I sort of want to defend the zoo now. Oh my goodness, look at the size of this thing. So it does plus five damage, which is a little bit less damage actually than what my current sword, the Sword of Light does. Um, but it looks pretty darn awesome. There has to be a way. I need to work with some of the others and figure out a way to make like a divincing sword in the stone sort of thing you could do with this because that would be so cool. So there we go. That is definitely um, a fantastic gift. Oh my gosh, I have no idea how that fits in my pockets, but let's see what's going on here. Beans from Ben. So let's see what Ben has to say for himself today. Siri, recently myself and Alex have finished the conquest of the Twilight Forest. However, not all things I uh, have picked up can be put to good use by myself, and thus I have decided to give you a few spare bits and pieces I had left over. Contents. Two magic beans. Two over soil. One giant sword. One giant obsidian. What is a giant obsidian? Thank you, Ben. All right, so we have some awesome gifts from my amazing friend Ben, and I am not sure... Oh, torchberries! <gasps> I love torchberries! You can make them into torches, or you can you can feed them to the moonworm queen so that she'll have more energy. Oh, we should go get the moonworm queen! It's been forever since we've seen her. And what does this giant obsidian do? Like, it is, is it just... It's a giant piece of obsidian! I'm not really sure what I was expecting. I'm, I can't say I'm surprised, but I'm not sure what I was really expecting. So, hmm. All right. Well, that's really cool. Um, I don't really, I can't really see where I'm going now. <laughs> oh my gosh. You guys, we have too much stuff. We have too much stuff. All right, so we're going to have to come back. And then there's some magic beans and some uberus soil, uberus soil, or however the heck we're going to pronounce that. And I actually don't know what to do with these magic beans. Fingers crossed that it'll actually grow into a beanstalk because that would be amazing. I've hardly touched Twilight Forest. We've been once, like once or twice in the almost year, ah, help, in the almost year that we have had our amazing world. So maybe a Twilight Forest adventure needs to, uh, ooh, next time I feel like going Going on an adventure and expedition, I should put up another straw poll. What do you guys think about that? That would be really fun. Have another straw poll to kind of do a little vote. Hello, Martha. Do a little vote on um, what we should do next. All right, let me go ahead and put this note away. 
Um, there we go. There we go. All right. Note goes into the bookshelf. And then we've got the treasure. I think the treasure can go upstairs. We've got an egg. Thank you very much, Martha. So many dodo eggs. Absolutely awesome. Oh, my little chip's keeping an eye on my new butterfly collection. Oh, my gosh. But yeah, I'm really sorry for the lack of episodes lately, you guys. I have been tremendously sick. And Chips has actually been really pretty concerned for me and really unhappy if I try to work hard, even when I'm really sick. So I've been trying to be consider it and not rush off into the into the hither and thither even though being in zoo crafting what the heck <laughs> this is not this is not this is not me this is a new discovery oh my gosh siri chips siri chips oh my gosh this is definitely a pavo thing so here is a little pavo i can't really call it a pavo prank either but here is a little gift slash prank from pavo i am pretty sure i know what these leaves are and they're of my namesake and then we have some chips or what we call french fries in the united states but are called chips over in england Oh my gosh, that's adorable. So Pavo has marked off which side of the bed we get, which is totally awesome. Normally, I would be on this side because I am the one who journals every single night in my joy journal before bed. But that is adorable because now I can have this little chips watching over the joy journal. But that's adorable. I need to go over to my friends' houses. That's another thing I want to do more often is go visit people and leave presents for them. And speaking of leaving presents, can I stick this in here? <laughs> I can <laughs> Okay, hang on. Let's put it up there. That's perfect. Look at that. That actually looks really cool. Can I put the obsidian piece up there? I kind of can. I'm actually, I am a little concerned about the obsidian piece being in there though. Like it's going to break through or something. All right. And then we have a couple other cool items that we have collected. We found a lot of treasure in the towers that we get to put away. The burning wood sword of quicksand, which uses, which like shoots fireballs too, which is really cool. And then the hardy diamond iron trinket, the hardy diamond trinket, where did I get iron from? Who knows? Of fresh air. Uh, and it plays a disc when used. Oh my gosh, it just began some music. Can I, okay, all right, we've got some music playing. We've got, we've got some fine music playing. And you know what that creepy music, you guys? A lot of you guys have started calling this thing, um, Bill, after Bill from Gravity Falls. And I kind of want to rename it. I feel like we have Bill with us and now I feel like I, I know who Bill is, except I know nothing about Gravity Falls. I just know the character Bill from seeing it everywhere. So now I feel like I have to watch Gravity Falls because this creepy music is totally going in. Oh my gosh. <laughs> It's totally going with what I, I think I know about this thing. So here we go. The hardy diamond trinket of fresh air and it gives us water breathing and it also gives us a passive uh, 2.5 heart boost. And I don't think we need that boost right now. So we'll go ahead and put it away. We have the hardy gold boots of renew, which also gives us a boost and it slowly repairs itself while held and it gives us damage resistance while equipped. All right. So we're going to put all of those things away. I really love the artifacts. Collecting them is one of the most interesting random things that we can do in our world let's see now we've got this awkward music playing in the background that's fine I'm just gonna kind of ignore it and hopefully it'll go say oh wow I totally hopefully it'll go away soon and I totally forgot that we also have the hidden stone amulet of thunder that gives you invisibility and it causes lightning when interacting with entities so let's go ahead and tuck that away too I am starting to really fill up my home with all sorts of treasure let's get this gold ore berry we need to take it downstairs and get the or um, get the ore and the gold ore start starting to be smelted because I really need to have plenty of gold in order to help all of our zombie villagers be turned back into villagers. So there's another thing I need to work on. Oh gosh, and let's go ahead and put these essence berries away. Um, I think they go in the mossy treasure chest. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we're gonna do more adventures, more everything, more animals. Today, I think, because I'm not feeling that well, I'm so sorry, guys. The good news is, um, Chips and I are starting to get to the bottom of what could probably be going on with me with autoimmune issues and whatnot, and we're coming up with new ways that I can make sure I stay happy and healthy, and, and whenever I get sick like that, we're coming up with better medicines I can use. So that's getting much better, so no worries about that. That's right, ladies, okay. And I really, I'm thinking that Primrose and Bluebell deserve to start having some jobs, even if it's just kind of keeping watch over some of the birds and helping to collect up some of their items. And now we're just awkwardly listening to this music for forever. That's fine. I'm sure that's fine. All right, let's put out a carrot cake and let's put out, let's do this. There we go. 
Let's put out a cherry cheesecake because it's delicious. And I thought I would eat almost all of that and I almost did. So is there anywhere I can leave? Yeah, look at that. We've got carrot cake and cherry cheesecake out. Wonderful. All right, so let's go ahead and run downstairs. Oh yeah, my birthday present. Okay, I need to be wearing full armor to check on my birthday present apparently. And it's going to be down with pigmen fern, I was told. So, all right, pigmen fern. Pigment Fern, I hear something. Pigment Fern! Pigment Fern! You happen to have a vampire penguin! <gasps> Happy <b> <laughs> It's, oh my gosh. Okay, this is a flame penguin. Also, I call them vampire penguins as well. They are bloodthirsty things that will be out for your soul and they want to eat you. And it appears that Ben has kindly gifted me a vampire penguin. And you know what? That just gives me an idea on future gifts we can give Ben. And I'm thinking we should maybe go catch some monsters for Ben sometime. Just to keep things, keep things you know, a little interesting. He likes using those awesome weapons he's designed. So maybe we need to go on a fantastic mob catching adventure. Oh, jeez Louise. Did you feel the look at that? Look at that. Fully armed up. And it still smacked me for a good, like, heart. So we can't go near this thing right now. Pigman friend, I'm glad he doesn't mess with you, and I'm so sorry that you're still stuck in your sweater, but I guess as a pigman, you would feel a little bit more comfortable. Somebody has given me a new skin for you, pigman friend, so I need to use it soon. But yes, ah, I'm watching you. So here's happy birthday, you guys. Here's a happy birthday. This is um this is actually one of my uh, future mob exhibit uh, animals that I was thinking about anyway. So we'll have to think about where we are going to put the hostile mobs and their exhibits in the future. But what's up? Happy birthday. Um, I guess I'm glad to see you. I haven't seen one of these guys in forever. They used to be all over the nether and they would totally destroy me every time I go near. I went I go near. Oh my gosh. I went near the nether. So I guess it's a good thing that we're starting to see them again. Um, as long as they stay where they're supposed to be. But that's so funny. Of course, Ben would gift me a flame penguin. Oh, what am I going to do with that guy? Who knows? We'll have to figure it out. All right. So let's see if we have any coal anywhere. I do not. But I have a ton of wood. So we're just going to throw some wood in here. And check this out. Tons of gold ore berries to start working on. Oh my gosh. And there were more over here. Oh my goodness gracious. All right, we'll throw some more in here. And then here's a whole bunch of gold ore. So let's see, I had more wood right here. And we're just going to go ahead and use the wood for now to smelt up this gold. And each gold nugget gets us a little bit closer to being able do, 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 to being able to make tons of golden apples. So I'm going to put this in here. And I'm actually going to put the, well, the ore berries have their own chest. And don't forget you guys, these ore berry bushes are so cool. You saw me harvest up some gold ore berries off of the gold ore berry bushes that I have right down here. Eh, eh. Yeah, right here. Hey, buddy. And they usually only grow in the dark. So I what I was thinking about doing pretty soon is digging down here and you can kind of see, yeah, that's a carpenter's block. So no panic. That's just, don't panic about that. It's just a carpenter's block. But uh, I was thinking of maybe like digging down deep under here and making a cave area. Da -da -da, can I get out of here? And making a little cave area that um, can hold the gold ore berry trees. Because what we want to do is we want to take these ore berries and make them look like leaves on trees. And then we can make the area completely dark because the ore berries, when you put them down, they look like this. They're tiny. If you ignore the floofiness, they're just these tiny little things and they need total darkness in order to grow. So once we would leave it alone, maybe let the total darkness, um, ooh, what was that noise? You make some weird noises, buddy. I really hope that's you at least. I wouldn't be surprised if we turn around. We may, might need to look in the laboratory a little bit more. I don't think there's anything else in here. You can never be too sure with our good friend Ben, though. At least we can get our fossils out while we're here. Might as well. Might as well. Let's get the amber shards out. Oh, and we can put all of the zombie villagers safely away. That would be a good idea, too. All right. And more fossils. Oh, yeah. And all of the arms and the bone or the bones of the arms that we've found. Um, Let's see. That will be good. Oh, and there's another fossil. This kind of fossil right here. And I think, are these the analyzers? We can just go ahead and toss these into the analyzers for now. I haven't analyzed anything in so long. It's kind of fun to stick them in there. 
All right, and the bone fossil fragments. I think I'll just put that right there. Fresh from the dig site pieces, put that over here. Uh, I'll keep the amber shards with me though. But yeah, so I don't think our friend Ben has stuck, Oh, look at that, we've got a little sapling already. Has stuck anything else in here. And it's kind of fun just to watch this stuff as it all kind of generates up. All right, then let's put this, there we go. But yeah, let's check, hello, freezer bunny. Yeah, I was thinking maybe either making like the the labyrinth that we have, which is like our maze lab, go a little bit further. Like this was going to be the zombie curing zone and I'm still not sure how I feel about that. Either making it go further like this and then making the um, like trellises or making it look kind of like a vineyard only with these ore berries or making it look kind of like a forest. And I think it might be fun to go a little bit deeper down and then make it look like this really beautiful forest. It can have grass. It can have like waterfalls. It can have these ore berry bushes growing from it. And that might be a lot of fun because then it won't be part of like the official lab, but it'll be like this beautiful underground ore forest that will be below our home. And I think that will be really awesome. Hello. Hello, my vicious little vicious little vampire penguin how are you doing how are you doing yeah ouch yeah he's so tough he thinks he's so tough all right so let's come up and we're gonna put away the ore berries that we have so many ore berries if i could find them also what the heck is this the taconite what, what how do i use this oh you can use it to make iron ore well that's interesting all right all right there's some ore berries here's some random things here's some random things Hang in there, you guys. We've got a lot of random things, but that was a really fun mining expedition, too. So I definitely plan on doing those mining expeditions in the future because that was so much fun and we found so many things. It was really, really awesome. All right, let's load all these up. Let's put these away. Let's put these away. There we go. Oh, yeah, and all those bricks. All those bricks we got from those fake clay golems that looked like dogs. Oh, my goodness. That was pretty exciting, too. I have no idea what I'm going to do about that, but it was pretty exciting. All right, and then we've got a bunch of clay. I mean, that was a useful way to get bricks, and we do need bricks on occasion. It was a lot faster than just using the clay. Maybe I shouldn't have destroyed the spawner, but I was a little alarmed. And that is a really cool idea, though, that there might be some magic somewhere in our world that will help us learn how to enchant... Um, help us learn how to, like, enchant things, enchant clay golems like that. That might be really fun. All right, so let's go ahead and take all these things out. Ooh, there's leeches again. I forgot I had those leeches. I don't even know what I'm going to do with those leeches. I don't remember where I even got these diamonds. Oh, from the villagers! When I was trying to rescue them from the zombie villagers, now I remember where I got the diamonds. It was so sad. It was so sad. All right, and then anything else? Ore berries, ore berries, ore berries and essence berries. Lots of string. Here's more ore berries. All right, look at these things tucked away. And then, yes, so... Tomorrow, you guys, I think I'm actually going to show off a very special new feature with some certain seeds that Pavo has added into the Zoo Crafting Discoveries mod, which is still a work in progress, which is why it's not available for public release. Um, and then, <laughs> and I'm really excited about this, and oh my gosh, we really did find a lot of ore berries. Um, and then we'll be ready for Zoo Kitchen again, because I think I would love to start doing Friday Zoo Kitchens again. And it, once I show you guys some of the uh, <clears throat> very interesting new seeds that we've managed to find, there's the saffron. There we go. Thyme, saffron. There's a few others that you guys are going to be able to discover. It's going to be amazing. But once we get those up, then I'll be able to focus on like showing the gardening uh, of that those special items. I'm trying to be a little bit vague so it can be fun for you guys But yeah, I'll show the gardening of that kind of stuff during the zoo kitchen episodes But we'll plant them in the main series tomorrow. So that should be lots of fun. Sorry It's just like poking around again, but oh gosh I just haven't been feeling well. So this is this is just kind of our way to catch up with everything we're doing All right, here's a fish. Here's some random plants Here's some sticks. Here's some things. I need to put all of these zombie villagers safely downstairs. Here's some cooked chicken for our dogs. Isn't it kind of weird how quickly everything just gets put away? All right. And then here are all these pretty, pretty ores that we managed to collect. So there's those. Anything else? More random ores. I had a lot of food on me. What was I doing with all this food? Who even knows? And here's a ton of empty jars just laying around. Here's all the moonstone ore that I was trying to collect to give to Wynn as presents for Wynn. Oh, it's really fun to see that and remember like, yeah, I was working on that for my friend. Look at all this moonstone ore we collected. Sweet. 
All right, and we'll put these things away. Whoops, oops, this is the wrong, this is the wrong chest. My shiny, my shiny gemstone chest is where these things go away. All right, and there we go. And is this still burning? This is all done. This is working on its way to being done. In fact, I think it's on its last little gold ore berry now. Building the gold ore berry forest is gonna be really fun. All right, and boink, there we go. And then here's all these gold ingots, and then we come over here. And we can hopefully make more gold ingots. Do, 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 do. Ooh, that was a really even amount. Look at all that, 40 gold. 40 gold from our expedition. That was fantastic. I'm sure that's gonna help us in the future. All right, and let's put the zombie villagers away, my friends. Hello, my little vicious vampire. I wonder if we can like tame it. Is there like blood? Is there like a way it can like bring us blood? It's a little vampire. It can! Look at this! There is blood! There's fiery blood! There's buckets of blood! There's miner's blood! There's blood leaf! There's blood stone! I wonder if we could tame, like, the vampire penguin and then have it start giving us blood-related items. Bloody Marys! Buckets of blood! Wow! Well, you know, stained, blood stained, stone, channels of blood? Oh my goodness, that got a little bit dark. I didn't expect that. Well, there you go, you guys. We might be able to tame the vampire penguins, too. Oh my gosh. All right, and then let's come over here, and we're going to put away... I think these... Are these villager zombies or normal zombies? I'm not sure. But we're going to put away all of the zombies that we've got so that they'll be able to find a home, and we'll be able to cure them. All right. I need to make room for them, though. There's so many of them. Oh my gosh. And carefully not let them out. There we go. And yeah, in the future, no zombie, you need to stay in your, there. oh, I think I cloned him. There he goes. I was a little worried I like cloned him in my hands. I don't need zombies cloning inside, like while I'm holding them, that would just be weird. All right, there we go. Well, not only weird, but extremely dangerous. There, all right. So there we go, you guys. And is there anything I could nibble on really quickly? Cause I'm kind of hungry. I like how all my chickens are just running around, my wonderful scientist experimenters. Good, 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 good. Everybody seems pretty content. Just don't mind me nibbling some strawberries. All right. There we go. And there we go. All right, you guys. So yeah, there's been a lot of adventures. I'm really grateful for Ben. That, that giant sword, that giant sword is pretty awesome. Really grateful for the new gifts. And we've put away most everything. And tomorrow we will do a little bit of exploring. We will be working over in the herb garden and exploring to see just what is up with some of the very, very special seeds that my good... Oh, I left a zombie in my pocket. Really? <laughs> oh my gosh. Exploring to see some of the very special seeds that our good friend Pavo has created for us. And then probably all Saturday we are going to work our way over do do and we're in the wrong spot for this aren't we let's see if i get out in the open can i see these yeah there we go and probably saturday what we're going to try to do is we are going to cut a channel we are going to start over by the aviary the wonderful australian bird aviary and we're going to cut straight through the jungle and try to aim for making a clear path over to this outback savanna area and hopefully even build a bridge so we can get ourselves over there really quickly. Maybe we'll even have to start thinking about like a minecart. Maybe once we get over there, we can put like a teleporter over there. I think that would be a good idea. And then we'll be looking for an area to scout out and surround and build the giraffe exhibit, which is going to be a big project because it's going to be a safari exhibit. But I think it's going to be... Uh, really really worth it I think mostly we just need to find an area that we can surround with a gigantic fence of some kind and then we just need to make like maybe some mine tracks that can go around it so we can have like the actual safari experience it's gonna be awesome all right I'm gonna get out of the rain and I will see you guys next time bye bye